Hey everyone, 2-22-2015, that's a lot of twos. Today's daily puzzle dedicated to the Scholastic Center and Chess Club of St. Louis. Chess Club and Scholastic Center of St. Louis. I get that messed up sometimes, but the logo's really sexy, right? I'm wearing this hat. Anyway, go click right there. Go solve that daily puzzle before we do it. Let's get started. Okay. We have the H file, we have threats of F6 check, that's not going to do it. We have the pattern of the queen and bishop, and that's got to be it. Check, takes, and mate. Eerily similar, eerily similar to uh, yesterday's much, much more difficult daily puzzle. If you want to go ahead and click right here on this annotation and solve yesterday's in case you missed it, you should do that. Um, yesterday's didn't even end in a checkmate, but a similar pattern as far as recognizing this bishop and rook mating then on the h file which uh, occurs uh, in cases where either the g8 square is guarded by like a bishop or another piece as it was yesterday or in this case filled by one of black's own pieces and you see this discovered checkmate we'll uh we'll espn sports center top 10 that thing and replay it a couple times for you here but um what happened here well quickly recognizing the pressure on the h file with the queen and the bishop led to this obvious consideration when we're doing a daily puzzle and, and we know that we should be looking at those kind of powerful moves um F6 was the first move I looked at because I saw the dark squares, but as soon as I consider king F8 with no clear consequences to the king running. Uh, another move I looked at quickly but just didn't say aloud was something to move the knight with with a discovered check, but of course you dismiss it immediately once you see that the queen is defended. And so then again, you take a look over here and you replay that thing one more time. So if you're uh, solving the daily puzzles before we do the video, I'm sure that the majority of them aren't designed to be too tough. Maybe we should increase the difficulty of our daily puzzle in general, huh? I don't know. I think that uh, for many people who are solving it, many honest folk who are pushing themselves, a lot of there are a lot of beginner chess players out there, and that's a market we try to cater to. So I think I'll, you know every puzzle, including this one, is can be tricky. So hopefully some of the advice we've given about the hierarchy of how you should consider moves and quickly recognize what's weak about your opponent's position as well as your own and some of the much more difficult ones where you might even be trying to draw. Hopefully that helps. Um, but of course, for those of you who are more advanced players, the Friday and Saturday ones for sure are um, definitely definitely more difficult and, and are challenging even for, for strong masters and, and even titled players like myself. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Right, go uh, always support the Chess Club and Scholastic Center of St. Louis, doing great things. St. Louis, hopefully, hopefully, will be the chess capital of the world soon, and um, we'll see you around over on chess.com.